We're here with a top theoretician, Lanier Dominguez. That was a crazy draw you just had. How does it feel? You won a brilliancy prize with this variation already, and you decided to go into it again. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, obviously very uh, tricky line for black. I knew it was a draw, but I thought that in rapid chess, and um, it, it's kind of hard to, to find all the moves, or even, even if you know them, which you're supposed to know, but still you have to remember, and it's not so simple. But he, I mean, he did all right, and I think, uh, yeah, there was nothing to do. Yeah, he played this move queen e8, which was definitely uh, the improvement from your game, of course, against Maxime bashir Lagrave right. at the Singfield Cup. But you still kept some pressure. Yeah, I mean, after rook d1, of course, is the logical move. And then, uh, yeah, black has to go rook c7, and it looks very, uh, I mean, dangerous for black because you cannot move the bishop and I'm, I'm opening the h file. But, uh, yeah, it's just move per move here. This d5 and queen c6, I think it's very precise. I think queen a8 is also probably fine, but uh, but d5 and, and queen e5, and then I think the critical moment was, was after hd, fg, rook h7. Rook h7 was great. I was in the playing hall, and you went for your rook, took on h7, your opponent seemed a bit surprised, and this move bishop a4. How did you even yes. come up with this idea? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought that uh, it's possible, but uh, black's, moves, black's moves after that are not that difficult. I mean, rook f7, and so it's the only move, but it's, it's yeah. such an obvious move. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't sure if, uh, if I should go for this or, or to play uh, instead of bishop a4, rook h1 and rook h6. Which I believe is also uh, objectively equal, and now bishop f6 is the correct move. Not such a simple move, but uh, black doesn't have any moves anyway. Mm -hmm. And after gf6, rook f6, I didn't really see how I'm playing for a win here. I thought that potentially this could be, of course, tricky for me, so I went for the other line, which, uh, uh, I mean, I, I saw that it was just a draw. Absolutely. Topsy-turvy day today, had a tough one in round two. How do you feel at the end of today? Yeah, I mean, it uh, I mean, wasn't the best day in the world for me, but uh, it's the first day, so uh, main thing was just to, to get into, into practice a little bit, and hopefully um, uh, tomorrow will be better. Lanier Dominguez looking for those brilliancy prizes. Well, let's see what happens in the last game remaining in today's round. Back to the studio. Alejandro, if you may ask Lanier for a quick question about the whole Magnus, and how he feels as an international grandmaster, world-class player, Magnus stepping down from the world championship match. Oh. We wanted to ask you as well. We had big news today. Uh, Magnus Carlsen won't be defending his world championship title. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, initially I thought it's, uh, it's not really going to happen, but uh, yeah, it's, it's for real, so I guess... Uh, he has his reasons. Uh, it's very interesting because he seems to do what nobody else does. So, uh, yeah, in a way, I think the, the, I can understand that the pressure of uh, defending the, the title when there is a possibility, obviously, that you can lose takes a lot of energy and it's uh, stressful and all that. And he, yeah, he just wants to, to play without pressure, just to play tournaments. So I can, I can see that. I mean, it's uh, obviously... Uh, strange in the sense that if you're the best player in the world, you, you, you should play normally and, 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 and you have many things to achieve, like legacy and stuff like that. But yeah, I guess it's his decision and uh, uh, it's an interesting one. Seems like it comes to, as a shock to you. Yeah, well, I, at some point, I mean, at the beginning, I thought that it's just uh, he's uh, just kidding a bit. I mean, he was maybe messing with the other players and the, the candidates because uh, psychologically it also puts some pressure on some people. But then I realized that maybe he's, uh, he's for real. So it's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting decision. Absolutely. And today, well, confirmation for real. Magnus Carlsen will not be defending. Well, thank you, Lanier, and good luck the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Thank you, Lanier. Uh, always interesting to hear the perspectives of